Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying class 5, math, chapter number 5, fraction, problem set number 23 we are going to complete in today's video. The other problem set are already been completed. Link of all the problem sets from this chapter is been given in the description box. You all can go and watch the videos in order to practice those. So in this video we are going to study how to multiply a given fraction. It is very easy. I am going to show you the simplest way in order to multiply the given fraction. So the first question is what is three upon 1 upon 3 of each or 1 third of each of the collections given below. 1 third of the collections given below means you all have to multiply 1 upon 3 with 15. Simple words, jo fraction diya rehta hai, we have to multiply it with the given amount or the given collection of numbers. Okay, so how are you going to solve this first sum? It is very easy. As I said, 15 pencils. Okay, we have to find what is one third of this. One third of 15 pencils. So what you are going to do is 1 upon 3 multiplied with 15. Okay, so I am going to show you two ways to solve this same sum. Whichever is easy, you all can solve it. So the first is 1 into 15 is going to be 15. And over here nothing is there, so I will write 1. So 3 into 1 is going to be 3. Now divide 3 with 15, you are going to get 15 upon 3, 3 ones are 3 fives are. So your answer is 5. Alright, next the as I said I am going to show you the second method that is 1 upon 3 multiplied with 15. Over here only you all can divide, no need to do this step. 3 ones are 3 fives are. So your answer is 5. Whichever method you find easy, you all can solve it. I am going to show you both the methods. Second one is 21 balloons. Alright. So 21 balloons means 1 upon 3 multiplied with 21. So over here we will write 1. So this will be 21 into 1, 21. 3 into 1 is going to be 3. So divide it. If you all are not able to do it orally, divide and check. Now division, how you are going to do? In this way. Okay. 3 sevens are 21. So your answer is going to be 7. And the next step that you are going to do is same method till here. 3 ones are 3 sevens are. So your answer is 7. Isn't it easy children? Now over here only I will be solving the third sum that is nine children so one third into nine means over here one one into nine nine three into one three so divided or orally also you all can do it three ones are three threes are so answer is going to be three and the next step for the next method over here three ones are three threes are nine so whichever method as i said you find easy you all can solve it fourth sum i will solve it over here that is 18 books so one third into 18 means 18 three into one three so divided division i will do it over here 3 and 18 3 6 are 18 so your answer is 6 1 upon 3 multiplied with 18 so 3 ones are 3 6 are your answer is 6 you don't have to do both the method children whichever you find easy you all have to do it okay i have showed you both the ways Whichever you find easy, you all can solve it. Now, let's move on to the next question, which is, what is 1 upon 5th of each of the following? 1 upon 5 of each of the 
following that means same thing only the numbers are different same method we are going to do that is 20 rupees so this is going to be 1 upon 5 into 20 so here 1 again over here i will be showing you both the methods 1 into 20 20 5 into 1 5 so 5 divided with 20 this is this method is for the students who find uh, it difficult you all can do this step and those who are easily understanding the method can solve it in this way 5 ones are 5 fours are so your answer is Okay, now, second one is 30 kilometer. So, 1 upon 5 into 30 upon 1, 1 into 30, 30, 5 into 1, 5 divided. So, I will divide it chota only over here in order to show you. 5, 6 are 30. So, your answer is 6 or 1 upon 5 into 30, 5 ones are 5, 6 are. If you all are able to do this, it is very easy and uh, in future also you will be needing this method only. So, try and learn this method. It is very easy again. Third is going to be 15 liters. So, it is going to be 1 upon 5 into 15 upon 1. 1 into 15 is going to be 15. 5 into 1 is going to be 5. So, divide it. I will divide it over here only and show. 5 threes are 15. Orally also you all can do next the same thing. But 5 ones are 5 threes are but a different method. Fourth one is 25 centimeter. That means 1 upon 5 into 25 upon 1. So 5 ones are, sorry, 1 into 25, 25. 5 into 1 is going to be 5 divided. 5 and 25, 5. Fives are 25. So your answer is 5. And the other method directly you all can get the answer. 5 ones are 5 fives. So your answer is supposed to be 5. I hope this question is clear to everyone. Let's move on to the next question. Find the part of each of the following numbers given in the... Numbers equal to the given fractions. Okay. Now over here they have given the numbers and the fractions together. This can be read as 2 upon 3 of 30 means it is to be multiplied. 2 upon 3 of 30 means 2 upon 3 multiplied with 30. So you all can take 1 over here. 2 into 30 so, 2 into 30, 60. 2, 3 is a 6 and 0, 3 into 1, 3. Okay. So, you all can divide it. I will divide it over here only and show. 3 and 60. 3, 2 is a 6. 0 is a 0. So, your answer is 20. The other method that I am going to show you. 2 upon 3 into 30, 3 ones are 3 tens are. So 2 into 10 is going to be 20. Isn't it easy to solve children? Let's solve the second sum. I will solve it over here. Let's not solve it over there. Then the next one is 7 upon 11 of 22. So first we will write it in the multiplication form. So, 7 into 22. So, 22 into 7. 2 7s are 14. 2 7s are 14 and 1, 15. So, 1, 11 into 1, 11. 
now we have to divide i will divide it over here 11 and 154 so 11 ones are 11 4 take this 4 11 fours are 44 so your answer is 14 okay for this you will find this method easy 7 upon 11 multiplied with 22 11 ones are 11 twos are so 7 into 2 is going to be 14 this method in minutes you have in seconds you have got your answer whereas in this method you have to first multiply then divide okay so this method as i said it is very useful if you know the trick you have to just cross multiply in this way in with the same number let's move on to the third sum that is 3 upon 8 of 64 so 3 upon 8 multiplied with 64 upon 1 so 64 into 3 3 fours are 12 3 6 are 18 and 1 19 12 6 3 is 18 and 1 19 yes so 192 8 into 1 8 now we will divide 8 with 192 so 8 twos are 16 3 and 2 8 fours are 32 so your answer is 24 okay over here also you will find this method easy 3 upon 8 into 64 means 8 ones are 8, 8 eights are 64, 8 ones are 8, 8 eights are 64, 3 into 8 is going to be 24. So in seconds you have got your answer. You have to multiply and then divide and then you are going to get your answer. But again I am saying whichever method you find it easy, do it in that way. Let's move on to the fourth one. That is 5 upon 13 multiplied with 65 off. Sorry. Multiplication we will write in the next step in this way. So 5, 65 into 5, 5 fives are 25, 6 fives are 30, 31, 32. 5 fives are 25, 5, 6 are 30, 31, 32. So 3 to 5 divided with 13 into 1, 13. Now we will divide it okay now if you know 13 stable it's well and good but many of you all are not doing for so this step is for them if you know it skip and move forward so 13 into 2 3 twos are 6 2 ones are 2 so you will see the number is smaller again we will multiply 13 into 3 3 threes are 9 3 ones are 3 so the number is bigger so which number you have to take 2 do it. This division method is for the ones those who are not knowing multiplication and division properly. For them, this method is so 12, 6, and 5. Now 13 into 5, 5 threes are 15, 5 ones are 5, 6, 65. So your answer is going to be 25. This is your rough work. Okay. Now using this sum but in an easy way if you all know the table 13 ones are 13 13 fives are 65 5 into 5 25 so it's not just that okay if you all know the tables this method also gives you the same answer as compared to the first method so as i said whichever method is easy for you all you all can solve it if while solving if there is any uh, conclusion that you all if there is any confusion sorry sorry if you are not able to understand anything do let me know in the comment section see you in the next video till then take care bye